everyone and welcome back to Casa Cadillac. Those who follow me on Instagram know that a couple months ago I promised to make a video about natural dyeing. I keep my promise, let's go to the video. To dye with natural colors is a technique that is divided in three steps or three process. The first process is the preparation of the fabric, the second process is the extraction of the color and the third process is the bath or the actual dyeing. So in this video we're going to see the first step that is the preparation of the fabric and then the second step and the third step we're going to see that on the video that is going to be on Friday. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash all the texture of fabric. So we pour a lot of money water and washing powder into our bean. We mix really well. And then we add the fabric. We want to wash them really well because sometimes the fabric is old and maybe they have a lot of oil or sometimes when the fabric is new they have a protective layer and we want to remove this layer. This is something that you have to do regardless the dyeing technique that you're going to use later. We wash the fabric very, very well. All of them. Then we remove the detergent. If you have a large fabric, you can use the washing machine, but because I have small pieces, I'm just going to use my hand. We put one part of soy milk with five parts of water. There's no an actual measure, it depends on how much fabric do you have. We mix and then we add the fabric. The fabric is still wet because we pass from the first step to the second step, that is this one, without drying the fabric. This will help the fabric to absorb the soy milk. This is a technique called binder and prepare the fabric to absorb the natural color and avoid the color to fade with time. It's a technique that can be used only in cellulose fabrics such as cotton and line but cannot be used on protein fabric like for example silk. We leave soaking for a few hours. The more hours you leave soaking, the better result you will get. Then we have to repeat this process three or more times. I did it for three times because that was the amount of soy milk that I had on the fridge. It was an old soy milk uh, that was start to smell really funny, so that's why I decided to use it in this project. Then we drain it, you can use the washing machine or by hand, but you don't want to dry the fabric because you need moisture to pass to the next step. And now the fabric is ready for the next step. If you're not going to use it right now, you can put it on a plastic bag and put it on the fridge. And when you're going to use it, you just have to take it from the fridge. But we want the fabric to be moisture in order to dye it. As you can see, this was a very easy technique, but required a lot of time. I start doing on Friday and finish on Monday. So I think it's not sustainable for someone that is really into natural dyeing. That's why in an upcoming video, I'm going to explain a different technique for the preparation of the fabric that is called Mordente. So please subscribe so you don't lose this video and other videos that I'm going to upload. See you in the next video. Bye.